Well, I'm back up on my North 40 again this morning because we still got moving equipment going on across the road from my house to my neighbor's. He's building a new little lake over there. and I'm back up here on the North 40, so hopefully we won't hear too much of that. But there are birds going everywhere and crows and so on. So just uh, <laughs> do the best you can about listening over me. Um, this past week has been something, as you know. We got, we're spending too much money in Congress. We got a border crisis. We got, they're talking about hiring 80,000 additional IRS agents to go through your bank account, check in on transactions, $600 or more. Uh, you got vaccination mandates. By the way, my shoulder's sore because I got it done yesterday, that last booster shot. And they are talking about a reconciliation bill of 2,500 pages. So it's just, things are just kind of depressing for me. And I just decided this morning, we'd just take a five minute break and let me talk about some other things and you take a five minute break and then we'll get back to other stuff later. Uh, once in a while, we just need to take one. And when I do, I normally go on down to my Shaco neighbor, James Earl's place, cause he's always got something going on. And I was right this time, went down and he was wound up giving me another dose of his philosophies. <clears throat> now, I know he's two or three degrees out of plumb, but some of the stuff he, he was spouting made sense. And here's a few things I remember he said. A man will pay $2 for a $1 item that he wants. A woman will pay $1 for a $2 item she doesn't want or need, but it's on sale. A man has five items in his bathroom, a toothbrush, shaving cream, a razor, a bar of soap, and a towel from the Holiday Inn. <laughs> the average number of items in the typical woman's bathroom is 337. <laughs> a man would not be able to identify most of these items. And he said a woman has the last word in any argument. Anything a man says after that is the beginning of a new argument. He said a woman worries about the future until she gets a husband. A man never worries about the future <clears throat> till he gets a wife. And a successful man is one who makes more money than his wife can spend. A successful woman is one who finds such a man. <laughs> he said a woman marries a man expecting he'll change, but he doesn't. And a man marries a woman expecting that she won't change, but she does. And his thought for the day was, any married man ought to forget his mistakes. He said there ain't no use in two people remembering the same thing. Well, fortunately, we are out in the yard, and I don't know that Sweet Hazel heard that. I hope she didn't. But one more thing he brought up. I didn't have time to listen because I didn't want to be late for supper. Was this transgender thing. He started out with, if a man tries to get in a locker room with my wife or daughter or granddaughter, or beats my granddaughter or daughter in some kind of athletic event that requires speed or strength, he better hope that I'm not around close. <laughs> well, <laughs> that ought to be interesting when I, I'll be able to listen to him and expound on this subject at a later date. I'll let you know what he says after I clean up his language. Have a good week. I'll see you again next time.